With Maverick finally hitting theaters this year, I thought it would be a good time to look back on the 1986 classic Top Gun and review it. And I also wanted to look back on it because I've never seen it before. Cast judgment all you want, but now that I've finally seen the movie, I have the need. The need for sponsorship. That's right, this video is sponsored by GlassesUSA.com and I'm gonna talk about them for a little bit right now. There is nothing more American than wearing shades from GlassesUSA.com while watching Tom Cruise fly an F-14. When Tom Cruise's character Maverick gets in one of these bad boys, he's taking a big risk. They all are. You know who's not taking a risk? You. When you order online at GlassesUSA.com. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Shopping online at GlassesUSA.com means a risk-free shopping experience. Free shipping and returns and a 100% money back guarantee within 14 days. If you're feeling overwhelmed by the choices they offer, there's even a quiz you can take that only lasts about a minute. This will give you the best suggestions that match your face shape and needs. You can find this link in the description below the video. I don't know about you, but when I'm out playing shirtless volleyball with the boys, that UV protection is paramount. Paramount owns Top Gun, so there's like a, like a play on words there. Ah, nice shot, Goose. Those contact lenses you got from GlassesUSA.com are definitely paying off. I guess it helps that you get 25% off all contact lens brands. I see you digging on the shades. Yeah, I actually got them by using the online try-on tool at GlassesUSA.com, of course. <laughs> These are the Rigoberto Silvers. Maverick, we popping the tees? <laughs> okay. Love a good volleyball montage, and I love a good movie. Unfortunately for me, Top Gun falls short. This honestly hurts a little bit to say because I'm not trying to be contrarian and I also really enjoy most Tom Cruise movies, but man, I was expecting something completely different than what Top Gun gave me. Let me put on my brutally honest shades for a second and be real with you here. Let's get the positives out of the way first and believe me, there are some definite positives. First off, Tony Scott, RIP, has brilliant visuals here. This movie looks stunning, especially considering it came out in the 80s. Top notch. The cinematography is crisp, especially in the aerial combat scenes that I thought would hold up kind of lousy. They're very captivating. They're intense. I'm incredibly excited whenever they take to the skies, which unfortunately isn't very often, but we're, we're talking about the positives still. Number two, Young TC, short for Young Tom Cruise, is a stunning man. Just a beautiful man with a gorgeous set of hair. All the guys in this film, are incredibly attractive. And if my eyes weren't telling me that already, my wife had no problem pointing it out every five minutes. And Mr. Scott's camera loves Tom Cruise. That camera's constantly pushing into that beautiful Kodak smile, wearing those shades, ready to take on the day. Plus you have Val Kilmer as Iceman in his perfect form, peak condition. So we got beautiful cinematography, great aerial combat, and some good looking bros kicking ass. So far, we're doing really well. <laughs> What's another great ingredient to the puzzle? How about the music? How's that stack up? Well, revving up your engine. Listen to her howl and roar. <laughs> Metal under tension, begging you to touch and go. <laughs> Highway to the danger zone. <laughs> I'm gonna take a ride into the danger zone. We got Kenny Loggins' masterpiece, Danger Zone, blasting multiple times in the first half hour. As a matter of fact, the first 30 minutes of this movie fires on all cylinders. It is a gem, withstanding the test of time. So what happened, Adam? Why aren't you a huge fan of Top Gun? Why didn't this work for you? One word. Charlie. Not even a cameo by Tim Robbins staves off the miserable love story that runs rampant through Top Gun. Not 10 minutes, not 20 minutes, we're talking 40 minutes of bull crap that's sprinkled throughout this film and takes up a good chunk of the middle. We had such a good thing going here, Tony Scott. Why did this movie have to turn into the Air Force Presents Twilight? And the plot of the movie is all over the place. Maverick is living in his father's shadow. He wants to prove that he is, in fact, the greatest pilot of all time, get into the Top Gun flight school, and then blow everybody's doors off? I guess there's not doors on a plane. Blow everybody's cockpits off. 
His relationship with his best friend Goose is great. His rivalry with Ice, his wingman, is also terrific. But it's not fleshed out at all. It just comes and goes. And in between are these miserable love story segments where Tom Cruise is constantly pining after Charlie. She's upper management, a forbidden fruit that Maverick must have. Their chemistry is non-existent, and the real sexual tension comes between Maverick and Iceman. I mean, it's, it's palpable stuff. Every time they give these kind of Mugatu looks, like they're mad, but also a little bit turned on, that's, that's where I think the film really should have focused. <laughs> Had Tony Scott just fully focused on Maverick's journey through the Top Gun Academy, and maybe added in the dog fighting stuff a little bit sooner, it would have been a far better experience. Instead, we're constantly seeing Maverick driving on his motorcycle to get Charlie, going to Charlie's house, arguing with Charlie, hopping in the elevator with Charlie. I'm sick of Charlie, I don't wanna see Charlie. Okay? Charlie's not doing it for me. And according to my wife, her and her friends used to watch this all the time when they were younger and they always fast forwarded that stuff. They just wanted to get to the guys. So who is this movie for in those instances? The love story doesn't work for anyone, as far as I can tell, based on me and the other person I talked to, which was my wife. So I took a very large sampling, clearly, for this. Listen, just because I didn't really enjoy this movie doesn't mean it's not iconic. Of course it is. You got the jackets, you got the music, you got the looks. It's all there, and I'm certainly not taking that away. You got great catchphrases, you got that cool around the clock high five. And while the movie does try to present some drama, some death, some love story into it, I didn't feel anything really outside of, oh yeah, that's cool, they're flying upside down. I love that song. That's a cool outfit. That's, that's really it though. They're all kind of superficial things that I'm enjoying here. And the fact that I know it's a nostalgic movie. I've heard some of the lines before. I've seen some of the footage before. So that alone kind of kept me watching. But otherwise, I don't think I would have kept going with it. People are going to be upset with me. And that's just a given. That's the nature of this thing. We all have opinions. That doesn't mean mine's right. It's just what I feel. Some have this as their favorite movie of all time. And to you, I say, hey, right on. Those are my thoughts on Top Gun. I am very much still looking forward to Maverick. I think it's gonna be a lot better film. Unless again, they kind of veer away from the things I'm interested and instead go back into a crappy love story, then we might have a problem. But everything looks pretty solid. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on Top Gun if I'm way off the mark and everything works great or if you're kind of like me and think it's an overrated film. Like the video if you had some fun. Subscribe if you had a lot of fun, as I post a ton of movie-related content all the time here. Oh, and also make sure to head into the description of this video once more to give a thank you to GlassesUSA.com for backing such an awesome YouTube creator. And with that, I like Kenny Loggins' Play Me At- What? That's right, copyright infringement. Okay, bye. Really should have done this for the entire review. That way you get all three products showcased the entire time. Uh, GlassesUSA.com, that's maybe something to think about going forward. Have the, have the influencers kind of do the whole kit and caboodle, as they say.